Jews, which became the giant monologues. The, the Vienna monologues is a collection of monologues. Of, of it's, it's kind of like stories told in the first person that this woman, Eve Ensler, put together through um, many, many, many interviews with women about their vaginas. God only knows what gave her that idea. <laughs> But whatever the reason, it seems to be working. Vagina monologues have been performed by several well-known celebrities, including Alanis Morissette, Melissa Joan Hart, and more recently, Jan Arden. It's really, really funny, you know? And it's, it's the most amazing piece of theater because you don't have to be a real actor to do it, you know, which is why I'm here. Because <laughs> Lord knows I'm not a real actor. And surprisingly enough, Sass originally didn't want to be a part of the show. It made me grossly uncomfortable over it. I was like, what? what? You, you can pay me enough money to do this, which is why I'm going to do it. Because it's a huge challenge, you know? I mean, it's just, there's monologues that I wouldn't do. <laughs> Sorry. It could happen, Captain. The Vagina Monologues was originally created by American reporter and dramatist Eve Ensler in the mid-1990s. So far, it's been performed in 20 countries and translated into more than 20 different languages. It eventually inspired V-Day, which is an international movement to end violence against women. It's her cause, so uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing play. Mm -hmm. Have I said that enough? Yes. I really feel that way, otherwise I'd believe me, I'd be going, yeah, anyway. The Vagina Monologues is running at the Walker Theater until this Sunday. Then, Sam's Jordan is touring with the voices of classic rock, preparing for a new album, and putting together her own talk TV show. It seems she's pretty much done it all. Well, except for one thing. I haven't washed my hair. <laughs> That's a bad thing.